Hi, I'm Alvaro. I'm 27 years. I'm from Holland, and I'm here in South Korea. Yo, what's up? My name is Casey Jones. We came all the way from Holland. I'm 27 years old, and we're ready to rock. Yeah. Uh... 이번에 어, 새 음악이 나온 걸로, 새 음, 곡이 나온 걸로 알고 있습니다. 저, 곡 제목 언더그라운드인 걸로 알고 있는데 새로 내신 곡에 대해서 좀, 신곡에 대해서 좀 설명해 주시죠. Could you tell us about your new song, Underground? Your new... Yeah, it's funny. Uh, I made that song a while ago together with uh, Carnage. He's a big DJ from Holland. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a really cool song because the melody sounds a little bit like Harry Potter, like the movie. Mm -hmm. A lot of people recognize that and um, the song did really good. It went up to number three on the beatboard charts. Uh, so yeah, I'm really yeah. happy about that song. Yeah, I'm gonna play it tonight also. Yeah, I enjoy it too. Yeah. 그리고 어, 두 번째 질문 드리고 싶은 거는 어, Dutch House 혹은 Dutch EDM이라고 해서 네덜란드의 어, 전기 전자 음악들이 굉장히 세계적으로 인기를 얻고 있는데요. 그 비결이라든지 아니면은 거기에 대한 본인의 생각. 그한 나라의 이름을 딴 장르가 나온 거에 대한 본인의 단상 같은 게 있으면 얘기해 주십시오. 예. EDM has become very powerful in other land like the so-called Dutch EDM, Dutch house. But what are your personal thoughts about that? Like one country becoming famous for a certain genre of music? What are your thoughts about that? Yeah, it's, it's really cool to see that a lot of uh, big DJs nowadays are from Holland. Of course, you have uh, Tiesto and uh, Armin van Buuren, like the, they are probably the biggest from Holland and mm -hmm. it's really cool because it's, it's, it's like a motivation for all the other people in Holland to to try to achieve the same uh, what they did so I think mm -hmm. it's really uh, cool to yeah to, to have like so many superstars come from Holland and mm -hmm. that's why we work really hard to achieve the same goal mm -hmm. and you agree or uh, your another opinion the yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually what you said like mm -hmm. uh, there's like a saying, if it ain't Dutch, it ain't much, mm. so... Yeah, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> <laughs> 어, 드리는 게 드리고 싶은 게 한국에 본게 벌써 공식적으로 세 번째 공연이신 것 같습니다. 어, 한국 관객들의 어떤 반응에 대한 특징이라든지 어린, 어, 한국 관객들이 좋아하는 선곡이라든지 취향에 대해서 좀 연구가 이제 되신 게 있는지요? As far as we know, this is your third official performance in Korea. But do you have any opinions about the Korean audience? Like, are there any certain characteristics of the Korean audience? Or have you ever tried some moves to match the tastes of the Korean audience? Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's actually funny. Like, I remember the first time I came here and I really know that the, the Korean crowd really loves to party. And uh, that's, for me, the most important thing. You know, I'm a DJ and I always want to please the crowd. And, and, and that's really good about it. And I think like, like I always play my, my own kind of set and my own kind of music. So people know that. So that's cool. And, and, and yeah, what I, what I said, they know how to party. So it's always really cool to come back here. Yeah, like the first mm -hmm. time when we came here, it's, mm -hmm. it's like you're coming from nowhere. You don't know what the people like. You don't know what they want. So you have mm -hmm. to like read them. Before you do that, you have to check out, like, okay, this is the kind of songs they probably would like, and then we try it, and if they like it, we have to, like, follow up new songs for it, yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah, the Korean crowd is crazy. Like, every drop, they go insane, and we're like, okay, Korean's a lot of parties, so yeah. That's a good sign. Yeah. And then, I'll ask you a question. For four years, the world's 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 어, 팝, 아, 팝 슈퍼스타가 된것 같은데요. 어, 어, 아바로는 어, 4년 만에 어, 이런 세계적인 DJ가 된 비결이라든지 어떤 기분이 느낌이 어떤지요? 4년 만에 세계적인 인물이 된. Took approximately like four years for you to gain fame and like become a superstar DJ. What are your thoughts about that? How do you feel? Yeah, it's funny. Um, I started actually as a cameraman. So I was like filming all the parties mm -hmm. where I played, uh, where I, I actually I, I filmed all the parties and, and then I saw all the DJs playing and I always wanted to be a DJ and I remember starting uh, buying the CD, uh, CDJs, you know, mm -hmm. to, 
to DJ to practice mm -hmm. and um, at the same time I started producing um, so it's like four or five years right now from, from the beginning and, mm -hmm. and it's really cool to see I would never think of being in Korea or like any other country in the whole world but I'm here so that's, I'm really happy about that. Yeah. 예, 그리고 아, 한 가지 더 질문인데 아바론한테 좀 질문 드릴 게, 그 아바론이란 예명이 어떤 의미인지 축구 선수 이름도 유명한 이름이 있는데. Why, why did you call? Why is your stage name Alvaro? Oh, it's actually it's a it's a Portuguese name. So my family has Portuguese blood. Ah, my grandfather's second name was Alvaro. So that's why I chose. Portuguese. 아 그리고 제일 중요한 오늘의 질문 중에 하나일 것 같은데요. MC KK 존스에게 묻겠습니다. 아바론이 알바로가 알바로가 지난 5년간 활동하고 슈퍼스타가 될 동안에 혹시 많은 변화나 성격의 변화 같은 게 있었나요? You've been the closest to him for for like the four years that he becomes a superstar. Has he changed from the beginning until now? Were there any changes? Of course, like we were like we were married actually. <laughs> he became no, bad or no, good? Like when you're like that close mm. with, with a big DJ action, mm. you always see like a difference mm. like throughout the years. And yeah, of course he, he uh, yeah, he's developed himself and yeah, just to see him like glow when he's having fun or yeah. yeah he's, he's a real good friend of mine for like two years now. But in like two years, we like we always fight, or we yeah we all yeah that's, that's good. good yeah that's good that's good it's like a marriage actually yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, uh, but, uh, can you go uh, interesting <laughs> and uh, 다음으로 드릴 질문은 어, 특히 어, 예전 댄스 음악 하면은 7, 80년대 댄스 음악 예를 들자면 아바 같은 음악 굳이 예를 들자면 어, 즐거움 혹은 이렇게 펀을 위한 음악이었다면 요즘 댄스 EDM은 훨씬 더 무거운 사회적인 주제를 다루기도 하고 뭔가 좀 어둡고 시니컬한 느낌도 있는 것 같습니다. 빠른 리듬인데도 불구하고 거기에 대한 어떤 음악을 만드는 사람 입장에서의 의견이나 아니면은 소견이 있으면 밝혀 주시기 바랍니다. Okay, in the 1970s and 80s, dance music was about being joyful and cheerful, you know, like Alba dancing queen and everything. But EDM is a bit more complicated. It deals with social issues, and it's it's sometimes sometimes satire is inside. What are your thoughts about that as a musician, as a perform, as a musician that performs that type of music? Yeah, I think it's actually you can really compare it with uh, the, the the rock age, like like when you had Queen and you had Michael Jackson. You know, you have like it's like one genre, but you have a lot of different acts in the same genre. So that's the cool thing about EDM, you have so many artists that do something different than the other one, so for for the crowd there's a lot of uh, ways to choose, you know, you can you can either go uh, for Tiesto, you will like his music, or you go for me, like the world, maybe a little bit harder than the rest, so it's, it's, it's actually really cool and I like it that everyone has his own uh, uh, genre in EDM, yeah, kind of style. Yeah. So yeah, that's cool about it. Already? Another opinion? Yeah, like um, like already said, like every artist has his own like image, like his own his own style. So for instance, like back in the days you had like yeah, Queen, like the rock, rock music, and like nowadays you mix mix it and you make like mashups or edits, like you take take the old school with the new school and you mix it to to something new. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. uh, 그리고 늘 궁금했던 게 있는데, 어, 그 아티스트로서 자신을 소개해 줄수 있는 자신의 음악이 있다면 한곡 정도 추천해 주실 수 as an artist, for the small number of fans that might not know you well, do you have like a representative song of among your songs that you could just recommend to them? Yeah, I think 
still one of my biggest songs is Welcome to the Jungle. I released it at the now number one DJ Hartwell, his label, Refuel. So you should all check that out, Welcome, Alvaro, Welcome to the Jungle. And that's one of my biggest songs and the song where I'm really proud of. Yeah. I remember, Welcome to the Soul, you make the edit, uh, editing the music. And, and last question to you, uh, when you perform us tonight, uh, how do you do it? Like, how do you do it? Sneak peek about yeah. your gig tonight. Yeah. Oh yeah, um, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna mm. put uh, in a lot of energy. Of course, we br I brought MC Casey Jones. <laughs> he's always, he's always, always like, hyped up. Yeah, always hyped up. And we try to, to give the crowd a good time and to make them all happy. So yeah, it's gonna be a fun night. Yeah, yeah. it's mm. like, our performance is like we have, we love to interact with the crowd and we all, we're always in balance. We don't want to go too far like uh, yeah, like some, some artists do not get call names. But there's like a balance and because it's Korea it's always difficult to know and to feel what they like. So we have to be balanced with that. Yeah. Yeah. We love to interact. So yeah. That's yeah. what you're gonna get. Thank you for your interview. No yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm.